A murder in one of the most popular tourist spots in San Francisco has reignited the debate over immigration and how police enforce immigration laws. The accused killer, Francisco Sanchez, appeared in court today where he pleaded not guilty. But in an interview, Sanchez admitted to shooting Catherine Steinle in a jailhouse interview. That was with Telemundo. Reporter Cristina Londono asked Sanchez about the gun used in the attack. Reports say that gun belonged to a federal agent. He appeared to confirm that he had found it, that it was uh, wrapped in a piece of cloth. He had mentioned a t-shirt before, but he said a piece, a piece of cloth. He said when he tried to pick it up, it just went off. Sanchez was in California illegally and had a long criminal history. Despite seven felonies and five deportations, Sanchez was released from jail. San Francisco City policy barred the jail from turning him over to immigration and customs enforcement. Some advocates call cities like San Francisco sanctuary cities. But it's important to remember in most cases there is no legal definition for a sanctuary city. It's just a description. Supporters of strict immigration policies used to describe cities with loose immigration policies. One Central Texas lawmaker, Congressman Lamar Smith, entered that debate on the Capitol floor today. Mr. Speaker, dangerous policies have deadly consequences. This administration, regrettably, has condoned sanctuary cities and has done nothing to make them abide by federal immigration laws. So where does the state of Texas stand? Some call Austin a sanctuary city because officers do not stop people to inquire about their immigration status. There was a push during the legislative session to pass a bill to effectively eliminate sanctuary cities in Texas, but that did not pass. Here in Austin, activists voiced their opinions on immigration with a protest outside the Travis County Jail. <laughs> These folks say laws in Travis County are already too tough on immigrants. They're specifically against a measure allowing county officials to check on a person's immigration status while in custody. They say it's led to unfair deportations and many broken families. This is being felt in neighborhoods all across Austin, and we want the leaders of our county and our city and our community to know that, we're, that we care about this issue and we're going to fight for it. According to government reports, the U.S. has deported more than one million undocumented immigrants in the past three years.